it's unique in some ways because it's us at our age right now, no matter what that age is. So it's not like we have to put a round peg in a square hole the way you would if you were stuck in time with an age because we play ourselves at the end as we are now. What that is this time around hasn't been discovered yet um, because we'll discover it in front of this audience, how it's different. It's different mostly because it becomes, the reflection becomes a little more profound at the end as opposed to two 40 year old men reflecting, you have two 60 something year old men reflecting and that, that's a very different quality. I think for some people, you know, there's a whole bunch of different people. Some audience will be introducing their children or grandchildren even to the show because they, they had seen it 25, 26 years ago. Uh, for others, uh, they want to see it again after having seen it. And for others, there's people come up to us constantly and say, we must be the only per people in Toronto not to have seen the show. And that's not true. In fact, it's like there's, it happens to us all the time. So there's that kind of, uh, I guess the event aspect of it, which is fun for us, you know, or people revisiting an old friend or people discovering an, an old, a new friend that they've heard a lot about but never seen. So that's the fun aspect of that too.